Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Felix and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to do a review of Palace, the new spring summer collect, well spring 2018 range. The last time I actually ever looked at a Palace collection was 2016. Um, I haven't really been into the brand since then so I haven't really like paid attention to it. I just think it kind of went downhill from there. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have a look at it because it was announced today and in the lookbook before that I've seen on Instagram there's some really cool like pieces in there that I might like. So yeah I'm gonna have a quick look, um, take you along, give you my opinion on some of the pieces. I've run through the collection and picked out a whole bunch of pieces that are either gonna be really hyped or I actually kind of like myself or some that I think are absolutely horrendous. So yeah yeah, I'll get into the pieces now. So first up, we've got this leather jacket. I'm, it's like blocked and I'm not really a big too fan of that. It doesn't look too good. The other colorways aren't crazy either. The black one just kind of looks a bit weird. I'm not a big fan of leather jackets, so I would never go near this piece. Obviously, some people will be able to pull it off. It's similar to the Averex jacket they did last year. This pink Mac is really cool. Um, obviously, I wouldn't wear it myself, but if there was a black colorway, which I don't think there is, I wouldn't wear that. I like the navy. The navy's not too bad, but it's a bit too blue for me. I think they could have toned down on the blue pigment there. But apart from that, it, that's a nicer piece. It's one of the nicest pieces I've ever done. It's very a classic and plain, simple silhouette. So I saw this in the lookbook and thought it kind of looked a little bit cool. However, after some consideration, that zip on the side looks really terrible and it looks like a bin bag. This is like an example of a uh, palace and how they can almost ruin clothes. Um, there's no need for that trifecta to be there. Apart from that, it's a really nice piece, especially the black colorway. That's one of the nicest jackets they've done in this collection 100% and they've ruined it by putting a triferg on it which is a bit of a shame but for me that that's a no-go as soon as that massive triferg was put there apart from that I'd probably buy it now Palace always do arc air collaborations which I think are really good uh, this season has obviously given forth this which is a really nice camo in my opinion and they've done well with like a tan like and the pockets as well the tan like kind of matches up with the camo really well they've also done like this black contrast stitch colorway which I really really like I think they've got matching camo pants for this which I'd probably really be interested in but the arc air stuff is always really good for summer this shirt would be amazing in my opinion I really like it just this colorway not the other one it, it, it's kind of got that vintage vibe which I really like and especially going into summer this would be really cool they did like this fruit one a few seasons ago but I think this is a lot better. I just love like the whole blocking and everything and the colors on it are so bright and so summery, which is so good. As I said earlier, there is the matching bottoms for the shirt. Obviously the black ones are a lot nicer for me. I really like the contrast stitching and I really want to get a pair of contrast stitch trousers this year. As I said in my pack by Kaha, I feel like those trousers could have been better if they had contrast stitching a bit more. And this is kind of what I wanted. They're really nice. And the camo ones are also really nice as well. The camo ones, the tan knee pads, I think it's called a double knee. I love it so much. These trousers are like this checkered print. It's like a black and white as described, but it kind of looks blue or gray. So I'm not too sure what this print is. You can't really get a good look online. So I'll probably go in store. These usually sit everywhere because no one wants to pay 120 quid for a pair of trousers. But I'll have a look at these and I really like them. Hopefully they are, they're always cut quite well. They're always that like straight fit. So these will be really interesting to have a look at. <laughs> this is quite surprising. I never thought they'd do another triferg but they've come out with this, which is like a refer re reversible like triferg. So they've got a navy and teal colorway. So on the navy side, it's like a normal triferg hoodie, which is obviously the one of the most hyped pieces ever. And on the inside, it's like reversible and it's just got a plain palace, ba it's like basically a hood, I think they call them. For me, the gray and black colorway is the nicest because they always, I don't know, these are the two colorways that are, are really easy to match. Gray and black are so easy to match with every other color. And obviously the black one will be the most hyped. Obviously it will sell out in seconds. I'm not really too interested in Trifergs anymore. This is really nice. I really like the colorways of this more than the design. The subtle palace is, is good. I prefer subtle logos. I don't want a big like, palace across the chest, but the colorways are actually really nice in this. This colorway specifically, the white and gray with like the red bands, I really like that, that's so cool. Again, another striped tee, it's just simple. I like the striped tees they do. And of course, there's the long sleeve version of that striped tee. This is one of my favorite pieces of the entire collection. They've done a t-shirt as well of this, which I'll, I'll skip over as well quickly. Obviously, Forrest Gump is my favorite film of all time. Well, it's at least it's in my top five. And every season, Palace kind of taken a screenshot from a famous film and put a Palace logo on it or put someone in Palace garments on there. My favorite piece of this collection, cool little Photoshop. So the trifecta for this season is called The Circuit. It's like an electrical one, I guess. The colorways are cool. I don't really like the trifergs still, but this is like a semi-cool design. So yeah, that's obviously gonna be very hyped as well. This is the worst piece of the entire collection. The front, yeah, it just says Palace. The back is disgusting. I don't know who'd wear this. Well, I do know who'd wear this. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't like it. It's disgusting in my opinion. This is the worst piece and the colorways are also horrendous. Again, this is the circuit long sleeve. 
Uh, this is their trifold, so they're doing the long sleeve here. Anyway, this is the Forrest Gump tee. I'd probably get it in the white colorway. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for it because this will probably sell out stupid fast and I'm not really sure what size I am in Palace anymore. So yeah, th this is probably my favorite piece of the collection, as I said, with the hoodie. This is one of the cooler t-shirts they do every now and then. It's just like a the sketch drawing, but Obviously they've got a holding a palace bag. It's a cool t-shirt though. I wouldn't wear it, but I know it's probably one of the nicer t-shirts in this collection. This is obviously the Trifog short sleeve, which they do. This is the circuit one again. Now we're onto hats and to match the Arc Air and the like, collaboration they do with Arc Air, they've obviously got the boonie hat. There is a black contrast stitch one. So if you want the full set of either colorway, go for it. I love the shape of the palace P panels. They always fit really well. So these are the corduroy caps they always do. These are nice, I have to admit. I have no idea what's on this socks, but it looks kind of cool. Oh. Oh, I see. It's the Pete Princess of Wales sock. So it's got Princess Diana on it and it's got her the like when she was born to when she died. That's really cool actually. I like that sock. It does say palace at the top, I think. But obviously it's got Princess Diana embroidered on the side and the date of her birth and her death. This is what I love when brands do like really random accessories. So they're doing a dog collar this year, which is really cool. I know that my girlfriend will probably want this for her dog, which is again really cool. And they've also got a matching dog collar or dog lead, sorry, which is also, it looks really short. It, it's cool. It's a cool accessory and they always kind of do cool accessories. And finally, I'm going to look at the two necklaces that they're doing. They're doing this pill necklace, which is the P and ecstasy pill. I used to have the ecstasy tea ages ago, ages and ages ago. My girlfriend got it for me and it, I just, it grew out of it and I ended up selling it on like much of my palace stuff. But this is kind of cool. I like it how they've done like two pendants on one chain. The sock one is, it's terrible. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That is horrendous. I don't think anyone would actually wear a sock on their chain. I think the pill one is a lot nicer. Without a doubt, the Forrest Gump tee and hoodie was probably the favorite pieces of that collection, 100%. I feel like they could lay low, lay like calm down on the logo in a little bit more because there were some nicer pieces in there that were ruined by logos. I'll probably end up going for that shirt because I really want to build up on my short sleeve shirts for the summer. Anyway guys, tell me what your favorite piece was from this collection down below and I'll see you in the next video. See you later guys.